YouTube users. So here's some more proof that they're using our cell signals to see if we're being good little sheep and socially distancing or if we're rebelling. Travelers to Utah begin receiving mandatory beer flu declaration at border crossings. Anyone entering the state of Utah at a border is now required to submit a travel declaration with questions about the beer flu. The declaration is mandatory and must be completed within three hours of entering the state. The questionnaire will be hand delivered to passengers who are departing commercial flights at the airport and drivers entering Utah on interstates will receive an alert to their cell phone with a link to fill out the declaration. The news station sent out a crew to the Utah-Nevada border to see how the system worked. The cell phones received an alert approximately 50 miles east of the border. The phones audibly sounded and an on-screen prompt indicated governor's order getting to Utah fill out a beer flu declaration. The state set up a geoforce that alerts cell phones when they are near the border. It works off cell phone towers, so it is possible that people who are not crossing the border may receive the alert. And then, these questions down here it says, how long will the alert be active? The alert will become active at 9 a.m. on Friday, April 10th, 2020, and remain active until 11.59 p.m. at May 1st, 2020. What do I do if I receive the alert? If you are a motorist, please fill out the declaration form the next time you stop. Do not fill it out while driving. That should only happen if the passenger can fill out the survey safely. If you received the alert and did not recently cross the border, you can ignore it. Will I be stopped if I don't fill out the declaration form? If you are a motorist, you will not be stopped for failing to fill out the declaration form, but please follow our state laws and stay safe on our roads. Fuck your safety. There are no man checkpoints at Utah roads for this executive order. And then what if I cross the state border every day for work? They expect it to be filled out one time. The system and your phone should work together and ensure that you receive the alert only one time. In some cases, phones may receive multiple alerts. This is beyond their control, of course. How accurate is the targeting on these messages? Unfortunately, we can't separate inbound and outbound traffic. So motors who are leaving the state will receive the wireless emergency alert. Those motors can ignore the alert. But once you return, we expect you to fill out the declaration, blah, blah, blah. Because technology is not perfect, sometimes people who are miles away will receive the alert. We are asking your forgiveness because we are trying a new use of this technology to track a disease that has already killed 13 whopping people in Utah and sickened many others. And then of course it sounds like that obnoxious emergency alert you see on TV. And then it says, what good is it going to do? The Utah Department of Transportation is collecting the data and will securely transfer the data to the Utah Department of Health for their awareness. Remember, oh, sorry, beer flu is deadly. The data submitted through the program helps our efforts to trace and mitigate the disease. We are able to inform travelers about public orders in Utah, and we are able to isolate incidents and notify anyone who may be affected. And then, of course, it goes on to say that if you enter the state and you say that you're exhibiting symptoms of the beer flu, then they will try to get you and quarantine you. Or in other words, they will body snatch you. This shit is fucked up and I don't know what else they're gonna try to fucking pull. It's not just Utah. I know other states are doing it like Louisiana and Texas borders and whatever other states. But thought I'd share this fucked up information with y'all. Thank you for watching. Until next time, toodles.